welcome to episode one, What Lies Ahead. Now in this video, it may, might contain spoilers. I'm sorry, uh, I'm still sick. Uh, but here, uh, first I will do the uh, little uh, key parts. Then I will go over the episode and give it a break. So the first one is, this is the first episode where Norma Reedus, a.k.a. Daryl, is credited along with the main cast. Okay, uh, M Melissa McBride, Iron Single Team, T-Dog, and Madison Lynn Sophia are all promoted to guest stars after being co-stars in the first season. Okay, so, uh, when Rick and the group go to the Southern Baptist Church, the sign has the phrase, Revelation 16, uh, Chapter 16, verse 7 below it. When Rick is alone, he has to figure out if, if his choices are leading the group on the right path. It translated, the Bible reads, After I heard the author respond, Yes, Lord God Almighty, true and just are your judgments. So, that, that was pretty cool. This is the last episode written and produced by TV series creator Frank Darabont, my favorite. The episode was viewed by 7.25 billion people. In its original broadcast. Initially, the episode could would have started exactly where it finished the last episode. Rick and his group would travel to the city to return to the uh, Vatos and see it's completely destroyed, mastered by zombies. After recovering weapons they had shared, they decided to leave the city. Heading to Fort Benning, Neil Brown Jr. was hired for this episode, and several scenes were filmed. in this story, but eventually the entire sequence was removed from the final ending and a start-up scene was re-recorded. Re Had the scenes images for deleted scenes of the Nosem Holmes are out. The episode was originally going to be called Miles Behind Us. This is the same name as the second volume of the Walking Dead comic book series. It had been referenced to the fact that it had been a great distance since the survivors left Atlanta, leaving Miles behind them. Calling the episode What Lies Ahead indicates an op opposite feeling. Not that the group has left Miles behind them, but that the group has no idea what dangers might lie ahead as they take off at Atlanta. It sets the tone for the new start of the season while Miles behind her feels like more like an ending. It is interesting to note that in the season finale, it is revealed that all humans are carriers and will re upon death the severe brain damage has occurred, that there are many, many dead victims in cars that have not sustained enough damage to appear as a lethal car accident. What is the lack of re, and excuse me, a re on death, or lack of damage that the car has sustained to depict a lethal car accident is designed over sight as unknown. So, um. That that took me three minutes already. So um, this this episode was a good episode. Uh, Sophia goes lost, and Rick puts it hard on himself. Um, and Carl gets shot. Uh, they're the two main parts, and they're both with the kid. So um, Carl gets shot, and um, looks like uh, he he was looking at a deer, and gets shot, and we don't know who shot him. Uh, we see, um, we'll actually see, uh, what's this, uh, oh, they're, they're uh, setting up, um, uh, stuff, um, for Sophia when he comes back, uh, that, that was good, there's good scenes in this episode, I'm going to give it a, uh, actually a, um, uh, I was a little surprised this episode was one of the best episodes of the series, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, even though I'm giving it a low rate, just because it wasn't exciting, not enough action, only two main parts happened, I'm still giving it a 6 out of 10, I would have gave it a 4 out of 10 if they didn't have, only had one out of parts. I was surprised everything except, um, Carl, well, I was surprised when Carl gets shot, so, uh, actually, I was surprised with everything, 
uh, it was a, actually a good episode, uh, but it wasn't uh, a, a bad, best episode. Like Killer Within or Season 1, stuff like that. Um, but it was a pretty good episode to start the season. Um, Cal is crazy just because her daughter is lost. Um, try not to give spoilers, this is after. Film was afterwards. Um, but it, it was a good episode. Uh, also, I say uh, that uh, Shane is a great actor for this. Um, he was, it, it was awesome. It, it had 7.26 million viewers. And he, before leaving, Rick attempts to contact Morgan. Which was awesome. Uh, and it was a 90 minute premiere on uh, that episode, which is great. Uh, I didn't watch it live, but, but it was a really good episode. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't much of a review, saying stuff. Um, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want with this video. Shane, I'm out.